I know I left you guys hanging in my last video and I am sorry, but it is just kind of part of making YouTube videos. You gotta be a little bit dramatic in order to gain and retain your audience's attention. So that's just something that I'm learning. Um, what's that saying go? Hate the game, not the player? I think I screwed that up. But anyways, more importantly, welcome back to my YouTube channel, you guys. I am super stoked to get back to working on the Lamborghini. This final assembly is just gonna be so awesome and it is much needed. But before I do get into that, I wanna show you guys something really quick. And actually, I need to show you guys two things. Um, first thing is, check this out, you guys. I'm a man of my word. I went out and I bought me a laptop. This is an empty box, but I promise you the laptop's inside. <laughs> and uh, I am investing into a uh, editing software that's gonna provide a lot more features. So hopefully it's gonna make the videos uh, a lot more interesting for you guys and uh, a little bit easier to edit for me. Uh, and it better be because that software cost me $300. That's crazy, isn't it? I mean, who would have known that it would have costed that much? I mean, literally fucking, $2,000 computer and $300 editing software. But anyways, it's whatever. It's, it's gonna be worth it, that's all that matters. But also, look what I found, you guys. So for all of you guys that are out there hating on my block of wood over here, I did find the struts for the, for the hood of the car and I am gonna put those on during the final assembly. I'm actually gonna remove this hood because I think it's gonna be easier to get the engine in and out. Um, without damaging anything. It's just gonna give me a little more space. But anyways, what we're gonna get into today is we are gonna be cleaning a lot of things up. We're gonna pull this motor out for sure this time, I promise you guys. But we're gonna be pulling this motor out and we're gonna be tearing everything apart and we're gonna be cleaning everything up super nice. Uh, we are gonna take a handful of parts over to get powder coated. And I'm not gonna tell you guys what, you're just gonna have to wait and see. And I am super excited about this color that I'm going with. Drop a comment down below. What color do you think I'm gonna powder coat some of these parts? Or what color do you guys think will look best? But that's my plan. We're gonna pull the motor out and we might get into some final assembly. We might be able to start assembling things back together. That just kind of depends on how long it takes for me to get these parts back from powder coat. But anyways, more importantly, we need to get this engine out. So let's get started. Check this out. You guys can probably see what I mean uh, about how filthy this thing is. I mean, that, that frame rail is just disgusting and there's all kinds of fluid on the, on the transmission. But that's the whole point of us doing this. So it can, it's gonna look so nice once it's done. And I'm super happy about that. But as you guys can probably tell, I got the hood off of the car along with the intake. And then I got my brace sitting over here and my turbo kit sitting over there. You probably don't see the hood because I snuck it inside, you guys. And uh, hopefully Jessica doesn't go into the spare bedroom because she's gonna run into some car parts. But I couldn't take a chance of them getting damaged. So she knows what she got herself into. And it is what it is. <laughs> but either way, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I am gonna be getting 
the braze powder coated and the compressor housings of the turbo powder coated. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys what color, but this color is gonna be super sweet and I think it's gonna make the engine bay pop, but I'm still trying to figure out what other pieces I'm gonna get powder coated that color. Um, we still have like the mounts here that need to be powder coated because they're just raw metal and they're gonna rust out. I was almost debating on that adapter plate possibly getting some type of color and maybe this alternator bracket. Uh, that alternator is gonna end up getting replaced or freshened up. Um, yeah, I'm not sure yet, but I need to get this motor out quickly so that way I can take those parts to get powder coated because that stuff doesn't happen overnight. And I imagine it's probably gonna take somewhere around two weeks and I'd like to get it um, back in this video, if not in the next video, but I guess we'll just have to see. And I did notice though, this power steering line is kind of be gonna be a pain in my butt. Um, so this is the pressure line for the pump, but in order to get it off, obviously you have to move the pump to get yourself enough space. But that power steering line runs down here to the front lift uh, solenoids. And in order to get the, the motor out, we're gonna have to either disconnect it from one or the other. And I think I'm gonna disconnect it from the solenoids because it's a lot easier to get to. And when I do install the engine back into the car, I wanna have the serpentine system all uh, put together and uh, tensioned because there is not a lot of space in between here to get that belt on. And it is doable, but it is just super complicated and tedious, and I'd rather do it outside of the car if I, if I can. So either way, that's the goal, and that's what we got going on. But let's get back to working on the lab. engine out of the car and that actually went really smooth so i think removing the hood off of the car actually made uh was a good move I, I got that thing out in probably an hour hour and a half so with that being said i think we are in the clear to be able to install the engine with the serpentine system all uh, tensioned up so that's going to save me a lot of time there but check this out you guys we got a lot of open space in the engine bay and a lot of work to do we got a lot of cleaning to do and uh yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun, but it's gonna look so good once it's done. Um, you guys saw that I removed the transmission mount and the engine mounts off of the, the motor and transmission, and I got them setting over here in a pile. So this is kind of my little pile of parts that's gonna get powder coated. Um, 
As far as the mounts go, I think I'm going to go with like a, a wrinkle black, I think. And as far as the brace goes, that's going to get powder coated a special color. So stay tuned for that. It's going to, it's going to be super awesome. You guys are going to like it. Um, as far as the header goes, they're going to get powder coated uh, hugger orange. No, they're not. But I'll tell you what is going to get powder coated. These compressor housings over here. I'm going to be taking these off and I'm going to take them with me. Those are going to also get powder coated the same color as that brace. And I am super excited about this color. I don't know why, but I think it's just going to look super good. And I also, I also got a couple things in mind on the car that I want to powder coat so we can tie it all together. And it's just going to look super sweet. But stay tuned for that because that is going to happen in the near future. But right now, we need to take those compressor housings off and we need to load these parts up because they need to get powder coated. So another reason that I really needed to pull this motor out was because we installed this AC compressor after the engine was already in the car. And so I was only able to bolt it down with one bolt. I did not know that a non LS4 block did not have the other bolt hole for the AC compressor. So if you ever run into this issue and you want to run an LS4 um, accessory drive system, you're going to need to buy this, uh, this little tool from ICT billet. So the part numbers that right there. It's a drill template. And basically what you need to do is you're gonna have to remove this water manifold, which is totally fine because we're gonna need a paint behind it and stuff. But this locates off of these two bolt holes right here. And then it has a pilot right here that you're gonna drill through. And that's gonna give you the perfect location for your second hole to get your AC compressor bolted up. Let's drill this bad boy out. <laughs> guys the engine is bare and it is ready to get all cleaned up we used that tool to tap the hole for the ac compressor and that thing worked out perfect so big shout out to icity billet for that uh we also need to clean the engine bay clean the motor clean the transmission and get that stuff all painted up but unfortunately that is actually going to be in the next video and hopefully in the next video we'll be seeing some powder coated parts come back so I can show you guys that super cool color that we're going to be using on our build along with our welded exhaust hopefully fingers crossed but I guess we're just going to have to see so like always make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and we're going to see you on the next one peace